Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Eric McGrew with Eric's Tree Service and Elevated Office, and today I am doing a, I guess, a daily vlog. Somebody recommended that I do this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it's Monday, and I am on my way to a job that I spent the whole last week at. Um, it was it, it was one of those jobs where everything kind of started as one way and then through the week turned into something completely different um, and you know it's it's something that um, became more complicated than I, I wanted it to be and definitely more complicated than the customer thought it was going to be which I expect it actually. Um, so we're heading over to the job shot a site and I'll show you what's going on once we get there. So I'm still climbing on my neck to, um, tri tech lanyard because I don't have my other one, but that's just a backup positioning lanyard. My main safety positioning lanyard is this um, Zillin, Petzl Zillin set. By the way, absolutely hate this lanyard. Don't, I, I like the Zillin, I just do not like this lanyard at all. It is aggressive. It picks, it has too much friction. There's nothing about it that I particularly care for. So um, I'll use it until it gets nicked or torn so bad that I can't use it any longer. Um, but yeah, not a fan. Of, I really wish they'd just sell the Zillin independently without a lanyard because I do not like this stuff. Oh, and by the way, light reach system with a breakaway. love this so if it gets caught in a tree it's not going to come back and hit me and i'll show you guys a little bit more about that in the the future i can move anywhere in the tree with my lanyard on my handsaw no problem and it breaks away if it gets caught so definitely awesome um fixes a lot of the problems everybody was worried about also something to think about are you climbing with a pole saw if you're not, you're wasting effort and energy and time. So just keep that in mind. These crazy elm trees are ratty. You can't stand these things. They absorb tons of water. And they, uh, yeah, just less than ideal trees in my opinion. They're hard, they're hard to keep from breaking in the winds. And they never, the one good thing about them is they rarely snap. They just kind of lay over. And they get tons and tons of dead in them. Just really not great trees to have around your house. These are Siberian elms, not the American elm, which is different. I'm just doing a, a thinning prune on this one. And trying to clearance it off their house a little bit. So, I don't know how much of this you guys can see from your vantage point, but I'm just literally thinning out the tips a little bit. This tree is not strong enough for me to get all the way out on the, the tip, so having this pole saw is a lifesaver in that sense. I'm reducing the end weight and making air pass through the tree a little bit more fluidly when it's got buds in it so that's good for the overall health trying not to break out too much but yeah 
they'll give the tree some room to grow in this season. <sighs> Trying to eliminate major crossing on these trees as well. That's one of their notorious natural situations is over growing branches that cross and end up causing tons of dead and decay in these trees. These trees do not compartmentalize super well by any means, even though they are considerably better than the cottonwoods are. So these are the two main trees I deal with out here, cottonwoods and these um, elms, these Siberian elms. So that's a constant challenge. I often climb with two lanterns. I like it. It just gives me more options. I know some people say it's cumbersome and whatnot, and it's it's true. It's less convenient for moving around and things sometimes than only having one lanyard, without a doubt. But it's definitely convenient in other ways. Um, once I get locked into a position, I can do lots of trimming and not have many problems at all, for sure. Um, so that's a plus. Let's see what I'm doing trim-wise. See, these are really watery. They're really stringy. Even with undercuts, they often don't cut cleanly. Less than ideal. You'll see that my Zubat blade is broken or bent, I should say. It fell from like 30 or 40 feet up and bent it, but it still functions. So I'm not replacing it yet because well, they're not super cheap. See, once again, look, I got my lanyard on and I am crossing over in front of you guys to cut that branch out. And it's not coming undone. It, it doesn't come undone easily by any means, but it does come undone in a pinch when it gets pulled, snagged real hard or something like that. So that's cool. Really, really like this setup. I actually like it a lot better than I even thought I would. One big thing to keep in mind that I think a lot of people forget and even I forget at times is really try to plan out your direction of your lanyard. Sometimes I throw it the easiest direction uh, uh, to throw it and what happens is it gets crossed and it makes it hard as I work positioning lanyard to to get to pull as I need it to pull myself over or whatever it might be so I really recommend pre-thinking the direction of your lanyard before you just toss it over there for the easiest toss because it could come back to to bite you a little bit in the in the long run so you aren't nearly this bad when they're dry but wet man they're a pain there we go. and you'll see right now why i like my two lanyards You can waste lots of energy fighting your rope, so don't forget to give yourself a slack to me. Well, that's a wrap for today. I got the tree all trimmed up. 
all climbing of course this morning when i first started it was super super slick and took me a little bit longer but it's all done now um, got it clearance off the roof there got it thinned out if you're not climbing with the pole saw you're wasting your energy i'm telling you now that being said you have to learn how to use your pole saw in a way and that keeps it nearby and doesn't mess you up and all that kind of stuff but it's totally totally worth it to do it and the the tree just comes together so much easier when you have a pole saw so yeah keep that in mind and now um, i'm off to to get the rest of my equipment back home gotta give a big thanks to gap arborist and recoil also patrick from educated climber always giving good tips and stuff that i use uh, i gotta do that and then um so that you know i haven't done an update but the recoil foot loop is just man it's the best one that i've run yet for sure without a doubt um it's robust it stays in place better it doesn't slide around at all for my foot i am running the size two and i wear a size 12 um boot i uh, actually i think these are 13s no they're size yeah they're size 13 us 12 uk um these are our pro boots i'll get into that i've been promising i'll do that and i will i'll get into that later so yeah but the recoil foot loop for srt climbing or even double rope but or a moving rope or whatever you want to call it um definitely definitely worth it you can't buy it yet in any online stores in the u.s but you can buy it from australia direct um through recoil dot com um go check them out dan is great to work with and has great products i'm also running his lanyards the full reach and the big boss which are tucked away in my bag so i can't show you those right now but it's just yeah stellar so that's it guys um took down that big cottonwood over there and another big elm over there so that's what we've been uh they've been cleaning that up because that was part of the deal and i just had to drop it i stacked all my brush there from this portion of it and just thought i'd let you guys know that to get the four-wheeler in the log arch in the crane set and both racks on took a little under like 15 minutes to get it all organized and in so if everything's in a straight line and organized and doesn't have to be moved probably less than 10 minutes to do it all and i have a ramp on each side and it's working out really well i'm not double hauling today because i have a electrical issue that i'm trying to work out on one of the trailers and dot's been out and i don't want to get caught double hauling and with uh, an infraction so i decided to take the chipper first on its own and um that went well and now this is fine so i'll take this and then i'll be back to double hauling once i get the plug fixed tomorrow that's today other than getting my gear just put away and then um got to do some bids and junk and then i'm done so i will talk to you guys tomorrow and see what's going on then bye